Hey everybody, it's on NASCAR 23 here. This diecast review will be on Kyle Larson's 2014 Target number 42 Chevy. Sorry there. Uh, this is one really, really neat car. Um, on the newer mold, as I've complained about in the past, but I think this is okay. I think uh, this car feels, as, as far as the metal or the body, whatever you want to call it here, it feels to me a little bit uh, sturdier uh, than it was before, I guess, if you want to call it that. Or, um, just a bit uh, better quality. Now, I mean, the wheels kind of still feel off, or, like, the plastic still feels cheaper quality. But I think this car, you know, had no noticeable defects that I saw. So, it, I mean, Lionel is really uh, picking up with these, uh, with this new mold that they have for the Chevys uh, and the Toyotas this year. Um, you know, so they're really picking it up, and I think they're, uh, they're they haven't quite uh, got it all together yet, but they are getting better with this new mold, and uh, that's that uh, is for sure a good thing. So uh, now here's just a quick look at the box. I forgot I was going to use the new camera for this because I'll have to remember that for my next whatever my, my next review will be. I have a different camera, one that I don't have to hold up. why this always moves around. Okay, so this car here, really your main colors are red and white. So um, you got uh, mainly a red all around here and it just fades to white as your background there. And you have just a bunch of little Target logos all over the place. That's re really all this car is, is decked out in Target. So, uh, and uh, this car, kind of like the Palmen Arts car every year. There's just uh, so many sponsors on the car. Um, and, and uh, we'll go over all those uh, right now. Uh, we have a uh, Larson on the windshield with the two Chevy logos, Target on the hood, uh, Chevy, Chevy SS, uh, well Chevrolet SS really, uh, 42, Chip Ganassi Racing. Uh, I'm just going to try and focus this again. Good enough. Kyle Larson um, uh, with the American flag up here. Then on the well, the B pillar here, you got Cessna, McDonald's, and I, I don't know, kind of looks like Tabasco on the bottom. I don't, I don't think that's it, but I, I don't know. I, I, I watched a couple other reviews on this car. I forgot what it, that's just what it looks like to me. It might not be it, though. Mountain Dew, All, Kraft, um, Kellogg's, Axe, uh, what is all this up here? Reese's, Tums. Belkin, Banana Boat, that's all I can really read, uh, for right here, the C-Pillar, um, Clorox, all your Target logos all over the place, uh, American Ethanol, uh, Chevrolet, Energizer, uh, your three Target logos on each side there, you got the Rookie Stripes, SS, number 42, uh, Cottonelle, a cartwheel on the top, I still don't know what that is, I haven't really figured that out. I, I will soon enough. Um, this side is the same as the other. So, um, as I said, this is a really neat car, and uh, on the new mold, it really is improving from uh, uh, just what the quality-wise. And so, um, you know, it, it's good that they're picking up on that. And because uh, before, all the cars on these new molds, there were always there was always some sort of defect, and especially the uh, ones on the Ford molds from last year were just terrible. If you go back and watch, uh, especially my David Reagan uh, review on that uh, that Play It Safe car, whatever one that was, that that car was just horrible that I got. But I mean, why trade it trade trade it in or exchange it for another one that's just going to be uh, just as bad, if not worse, in quality? You know, no no point in trading those in. Um, Unless it's, I mean, really bad. But, um, but this is a really good car. Uh, I do like Kyle Larson myself. Um, I think he did a great job last year in Nationwide and really doing a good job. A lot better than I thought he would this year. And Cup not have, only having that one year of Nationwide experience, he didn't think he's kind of like Stenhouse would be kind of okay, average in the Cup this year. But no, he's really, uh, really, uh, just, I, I don't even, just really well this season. Is really all I could give him. And uh, second place in Fontana, I believe, uh, did he finish, was it fifth at Pocono this weekend? So, so Somewhere in the top five or top ten. But a really great season for him so far. And now for a 360 view of this car, we have the front. The left side. 
back, the right side, got a better look at the hood there, on the top, deck lid there, and the bottom of the car. And before, and what I noticed about this car, the white tires here, before on the new mold, they wouldn't color, they, they wouldn't add any color to the tires. Um, the Brad Kozlowski car, um, the Miller Lite car, the, uh, the the first one that came out this year, which uh, the blue one that Brad Kozlowski never actually ran, uh, that one I believe was on the newer mold from what it looked like. I, I didn't get it. But um, it looked like it was on the newer mold to me, but the tires, whether or not it was on the newer mold, the tires were not were not white as they should have been as it showed in the rendering and uh, so I thought well this new mold they're not coloring the tires well obvious well something changed because this car has white tires because in the rendering of this car uh, it didn't show that this car would have white tires so I was kind of thinking about that but I didn't I, but it's, it's still kind of hard for me to picture these cars on the new mold kind of when I think about them uh, when I see the rendering, like, usually when I see the rendering of the cars, I think about them when they come out, what they might look like. But it's kind of hard for me to picture them on the n new mold here. It, it gets easier and easier as time goes on, but I, I can. It's really easy to, for me to picture them um, actually released in the uh, in the older mold. But I'm starting to become okay with both of the new and old mold for these cars. But they're uh, it's all real good though. So a real nice car. I do recommend it. Um, you know Kyle Larson is, uh, you know, only, what, 21, 22, he's still got a lot of years to go, and, uh, he's, uh, still got a lot, still got a lot to do, a lot of races left to win, so, uh, you know, and, uh, I think he could win one this season, he's got a pretty good chance, he's been doing real well, and, uh, making it into the chase, he's already, he's already in the top 16, I think, in points, um, and he's got a good, strong, uh, lead in rookie points over Austin Dillon, Kind of rained on NASCAR's parade there. Uh, Austin Dillon wins the pole at Daytona. Where's he been since? You know, but the Kyle Larson really, uh, was really uh, kind of on top of Austin Dillon now. Uh, all the talks on Kyle Larson, not, nothing much on Austin Dillon as everybody thought there would be. Um, so, um, you know, that's about it. Uh, my next review, I don't know exactly what that will be. Either uh, I know I'm getting Jeff Gordon's Exalta car and Chase Elliott's Napa car. I might get maybe the um, uh, Ryan Reed's car would be the next one I get. I might be getting up to four, and then maybe a uh, Regan Smith's Briars car possibly. That looks like a pretty neat car. Ice cream all over it. Delicious. Anyway, uh, this is on NASCAR 23, uh, saying uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.